May 30th, I got to see something really cool after I saw the lizard get brought back into the water. After that, I walked down to the boat locks to see what was going on there, and a giant Western Pacific tugboat went through the Seattle boat locks heading out to Puget Sound. And then, after I saw that, I, I started crossing the lock bridge to go to the other side and just see what was going on. And in the process of that happening, I look straight out to the west and see a boat coming in. And right away, once I saw that boat, I realized it was the Fierce Allegiance, which is an original Deadliest Catch boat from Season 1. I have shown you videos of the Fierce Allegiance at Pacific Fisherman Shipyard Inc. And this time I got to see Fierce Allegiance come through the boat box. So that was a really cool experience. And... You guys are going to get to hear what the Fierce Allegiance's engines sound like and see her go through the Seattle boat box. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video of the Fierce Allegiance heading through the Seattle boat box. The Fierce Allegiance, an OG Deadliest Catch boat from the very first season, is heading back from Puget Sound and is coming back into the Seattle boat box to most likely head over to Pacific Fisherman Shipyard Inc. This is the first time I've ever seen the Fierce Allegiance moving. I've only seen her still or on Deadliest Catch and never got to see or hear her moving in person, which is really cool. The Fierce Allegiance is 166 feet long, which was the biggest Deadliest Catch boat that has ever been on the show. So it's really cool seeing her moving for the very first time in 19 years. You can see the captain of the Fierce Allegiance out, either the captain or a crew member out on the starboard side of the Fierce Allegiance. This is so cool. You can see the captain in the port side of the wheelhouse. You can see they still have the block right there.
We're using the Starbird uh, bow thruster on her right now. the Fierce Allegiance, heading into the Salmon Bay slash Fremont cut, most likely heading over to Pacific Fisherman Shipyard Inc. again. They most likely went out to Puget Sound to test some things they've done to the engine, upgrades and other things, so they just wanted to test her and give her a run through her paces, but she's about to leave the locks. She's off. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Fierce Allegiance go through the Seattle boat box. It was such a cool thing to see, and I won't soon forget it because it was really, really cool. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Fierce Allegiance going through the Seattle boat box on Tuesday, May 30th. Don't forget to hit the bell icon down below so you can be notified when I upload videos. Also, please share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you guys for watching, and if you ain't dreaming, you ain't living. Don't forget to dream big.